All right, after teleporting to Vivek, I ran across the whole city, got to the Mage's Guild, napped a little bit, and now we are ready to find out about Moss Moss something. You know, you know the one. To do that, we need to talk to the Guild Guide. I think the Guild Guide of every single Mage's Guild has been so tired of seeing me going back and forth. Um, there was the Archmagister's robe. Maybe, just maybe, we can do something about that now. Nothing new? Not nothing new, really. What about Mosinon? Have you seen them? You do remember them? Went back and forth from Sadrith Mora. Sounds suspicious. So really right now, if I want to pursue this, going to Sadrith Mora is the good thing to do. But how about this? Tribunus gave you a scroll. You have precise instructions. Yes. We're not sure about the calculations. Uh... Let's go for it. Uh, I've, you know, I've learned quite a lot recently. And of course, Kaga is with me. Yeah, this is not exactly a warehouse, is it? Just a big, empty cave. Let's see... No, I'm not good enough to... I mean, I might be able to cast it once. If and when I get all of my stamina back. I'm gonna explore this narrow passage first. Oof. That was... that was nothing at all. We could go for a fun ride down the waterfall. Could we die? Worst case scenario, I can... We Oh, there was some light over there. We Can I maybe from here yes we're good spears of darkness and a lantern pages are blank aside from jagged spikes scrolled into the header and footer of each okay that's an interesting book. Do we want to jump all the way down and explore? We might as well. If uh, if all goes well, we, we will never be back here. We don't need the mushrooms, but I can't help picking them up. Um, we might want to be careful water fish and all that though it seems quiet I think Kaga pulled out her sword what did you see Kaga? right behind you a fish mm, blind slaughter fish It's all a bit murky. Ah. 
Yes. See, it was it was worth diving just for this one pearl. Could we have more colors? Yes. No. Let's um levitate, shall we? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, I pressed R. <clears throat> Amulet of levitating. Let's go. So we got one book, one lantern, one pearl. Not bad. And you know, quite a, quite a sight. Let's try to find the path again. That looks like it. Okay, good. So I went up this way. Let's go up that way. Pretty good timing with the levitation as well. Hello. Hello there. I'm going to pick up mushrooms just in, just in case they want mushrooms. Hello, Gorlick. Is this your cave? I'm I'm sorry. Um your book. I did find a book. That might be your book. The one with the spears and all that. You're welcome. What do you do here? You're a miner. And this is your cave, that makes sense. And your job is to mine. Lots of rocky rocks. Are we friends now? And we help each other. Yeah, well, I am looking to get out of here to find a robe. You haven't seen a fancy robe by any chance? So you are at... I guess you could say I'm a loser too, yes? You can help me? I guess this is... Um, this is what a miner does. Thank you so much, Gorlock. Oh, and he's following me. He's got 800 hit points. Let's just say he's really strong. Teach spells. Uh, would you teach me how to cure poison? Thank you. And you can heal your companions. I, I do know a spell to heal my companion, but it's not great. Maybe one day I'll be able to use this. For, for Kaga's sake. Um, you know what? I can... I can. No, he doesn't need... He doesn't need light. He's got that helmet. Uh, what could be useful for you? Look, I don't know which deity you worship. But with this, you should be covered. You can get out of here anytime you want. Thanks for the spells. Let's proceed deeper into the cave. You're saying that there are dangerous, dangerous bats in the tunnel? They are mad because of the ringing rocks, okay? Um, this is the only way? Well, let's go then. Between uh, you and Kaga, I think we should be quite safe. I see them. There's a bunch of them too. Go on, guys. Golak is so tiny. I did not realize that. Because, you know, he was he was higher up there. Kaga, how about you go and help? Come on. There we go. Kaga is such a such a bodyguard, you know. She she's staying close to me. Excellent. Ooh. Was that a bat or the baby? This is not a place to, to change diapers, so... These bats have no meat on them. Hang on. 
There might be a way up. More bats? Go for it. Honestly, between the two of them, I'm okay. I am okay so long as I don't run headfirst into bats. There's more. Nice. Was that the last of the bats? Maybe. Just maybe. Path is going up. But it's quite a big place. I, I'm wondering if I haven't missed a turn somewhere. Maybe up there. Getting dark. And maybe it will remain dark. Here we go. Okay, let's go. Let's go on. That looks like somebody wearing fancy robes. I have to take and take the robe back from this unpleasant person. You will help me, thank you. Even more than win the baddie bats, much appreciated. So how about you guys go on ahead? I kind of wish um, it was an only Kaga. Hopefully she'll be fine. I am here for the robe, yes, and I will take it. Wow. So Lilon of Wei made such beautiful robe oh, that she know. cannot stand giving them away. And apparently Kaga took care of her. Alright. So I'm going to help myself to the robe and uh, Gorlug is gonna find a way out. Well, thank you. And I got the Miner's Helm. Um, first, let's get the robe. Look at those. So fancy. We can take the staff. The amulet seems to be valuable. Why not the shoes? We can put them in our shop. And this was... Um, this was the note from High Chancellor Okato sending the robe to Trebonius. Vesta, you are a learned Imperial, right? Have you ever been to the Library of Vivek? Uh, that's an odd question all of a sudden, really, especially in the middle of a cave. I was just simply thinking about my friend Grash. The orc, yeah, you did tell me about Grash. And you think if we go to the library of Vivek, we might meet him? Um, sure. Sure, why not? In the meanwhile, how do you feel about this hat? You actually like it? No, that's fine. We, we can sell this. Um, thanks, Grolak. Oh, I don't see a way out there. We're gonna have to teleport out of here. Let's, um, do a divine intervention. Ah, oh, that's risky. We, we have no idea where we are. We got teleported there. It might be safer to recall that will take us to Balmora and then it's very easy to go to the Mages Guild in Vivek from there. Yep. Yep, that's what we're doing. Ooh, and I can um I can ask Sean to train me in restoration. She'll probably be disappointed I don't have that skull she asked for. 
to be honest, I am not very, very keen on going into a tomb. Um, we might see a ghost in there, and I don't like ghosts. Skeletons are fine. Bone walkers are gross, but otherwise okay. It's just a ghost. Nothing uh, gets you there faster than magic. Am I am I suddenly short? What's happening? There we go. Sit tight, Kaga. I should be able to heal you. There we go. You can be your beautiful self again. Uh, <laughs> Mages Guild. We need one skill at 20 and two at 10. Alchemy. We're at 10, so that would be one. Mysticism. We're at 10. That's the second one at 10. We need one at 20. Illusion. Illusion, we're all good. Let's get the restoration training. And if I remember properly, we need it to be at 20 as well. Hey, Sean. Let's see. Yeah, I, I thought so too. Training. No interruptions, I can't think. Train to level 20, that's what we need. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Back to Vivek. <laughs> or I could just keep the robes. Because honestly, they certainly look much better on me than they could ever look on Trebonius. What is the buff? Magicka, intelligence, willpower. Come on, this is nice. Do they come with a hood? Yes, they do. Yeah. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not talk to Trebonius. We're very happy. The way things are right now. Instead, we're going to get a promotion from Rannis. I I feel bad asking Trebonius to promote me when I'm wearing the very robes he's been desperate to get his hands on. Promotion. Yes. Um... I can choose between a book of practice spells and a book on alchemy and enchanting. Honestly, I already have spells to practice, uh, the skills that I want to practice, so let's get alchemy and enchanting. Thank you very much. I don't have any duties for someone of your rank. Why don't you speak with Ajira downstairs? I believe she may have some small tasks for you. Yeah, we, we've talked with Ajira, we've talked a lot. But you see, I have done enough duties for the time being, and I'm not keen to get more. On the other hand... On the other hand, we can uh, fulfill more duties for the Imperial Cult. Ah, decisions, decisions. So this is my wilderness set improved. I got some fancy clothes. And there's a high demand for exquisite shirts. Uh, I'm gonna put them in my shop as soon as possible. But I don't want to go to my shop to drop one shirt. Uh, let's wait for the shipment to arrive in Ebenhart and then we'll put everything we've got there. So really, we could go to Sadrith Mora for the Imperial Cult. I 
I am weary of having any dealings with a Kamenatong. Maybe once I have a better ranking with House Lalu, then maybe, maybe we could um, interact with the Kamenatong, you know, with the, with the authority of House Lalu. I feel that would be easier. We still need to gather some muck at some point. And in the important quest I wanted to do, we've done that. All oh, right, let's um, hopefully get a promotion from House Lalu. It is the one faction I belong to where I know as long as I've done the duties, performed my duties and I've done the jobs, I know I will get a promotion. They won't tell me like, yeah, thank you for all the work you've done, but you're not good enough for us. Let's go. And I heard for the high ranking members of the Great House, you can have your own manor. That would be quite lovely. I think we were told actually, weren't we told to go and talk to Crassus Curio? I think we were. That's something I could have done while I was in Vivek. Not to worry, I'm sure we will get back to the back sooner rather than later. Maybe we could go and check the clothier. We still have some money. I know we have a shipment of clothes waiting for us or that will arrive soon. But those are regular clothes for the shop. I would really like to try and find, you know, the unique item. Hello, Nilano. I did order. I did deliver the orders. Thank you for the money. Good doing business with you. In fact, I would be really happy to do more business with you. A Hlalo noble was recently murdered. I need someone to find who killed Ralin Hlalo. Yeah, we can do that. He was a noble, all right, here in Balmora. What do we know? Nothing. Okay, well, we'll go take a look, see what we can find out. Okay, I'll do that. We did deliver the scroll, yes. A promotion would be lovely. I cannot advance you further, all right. I need to find a sponsor, maybe Crassus Curio. Okay. Okay, and I do not want to buy them from you. Have you found the murderer of Ralan Lala? Not yet, you Lala. just ask me. Hello. Nothing uh, really good for us. Anything new since we last spoke? Not sure we've ever spoken. It's part of my talent in speechcraft. I can talk to people like we're old friends. Like Don does here. Um, sure. You cannot help me now. Alright. I guess we'll have to go and talk to Grass's Curio. Since we're in Balmora, let's take a look at the the manor. See what we can find. This is Nerano. This is Lalo. Oh wow. It's like Maybe we we're a psychic because I could feel the spirit of Lao Lo just, you know, dying right there. Um, hello. You were killed. I can, I can tell. For now, we're not going to 
touch anything, we did find the body. Could be suicide. Looks like he's got a suicide note right there. This will take us back outside. It looks like someone was looking for something. Did they find it? Hard to tell. I don't want to take anything. It could be evidence. We don't want to taint. Well, hello, Rin. Were you a witness to the crime? You were one of the servants. You saw a Dunmer. Okay, what did it look like? A young with red hair and a tall row over his head, like a mohawk, you mean? It's fashionable, you know. A bonbon armor and a Dwemer war axe. That doesn't sound very legal to be carrying a Dwemer war axe in the first place. So we're looking for a young Dunmer with bone mold armor. Nice book. I'm leaving it there, but uh, interesting read. And possibly somebody with a with little regard for the law, or at the very least, the imperial laws. It was all very sad. Let's do a, a wee bit of shopping. Hey Millie, I like your dress very much. Yes, I am a customer. You you would like me to help you recover some gold? Um sure. Right here in Balmora, fair. I can I can take a look, no promises. I do like your dress. Yeah. Maybe though. Maybe, though, it would be smarter to try and help her with a little problem and then come back. Hello, spiderweb. Sounds scary. Maybe we... Ooh, extravagant shirt. <laughs> okay, focus. We're going to help her. And uh, I'm sure she will be thankful and uh, offer you... Offer us a very, very good deal. Meldor, Meldor, Meldor. I'm pretty sure I saw the sign. Not too far from the Mages Guild. the bookseller that's where we got the book for Edwina twice no less here we go Meldor hello Meldor I'm looking for uh, your sister yeah exactly you, where do I find her no I have not show me your wares just in case you have some interesting off-hand guitar. Well, we don't we don't carry any weapon or no proper weapon. Hello, Carwin. Uh, I am here on uh, Millie's behalf. She's got some money. All right, let's talk you and I. Hello, Carwin. No worries. Okay, very good. You owe money, okay? Let's not... It's not what you ordered. But hang on, hang on. No, I think she's just trying to play me there. 
let's listen to what she's got to say, but I'm a little skeptical. Your husband was a good man, handsome, hardworking, pleasant. That's very nice. You had beautiful dresses, beautiful... Okay. Everything was better. Okay. So you're really complaining that you had all these beautiful things and now you have just average things and that's why you don't want to pay for them? I mean, go on. I'm not even... Uh... I am sorry. And we're going round. Okay, that's enough. Where's the gold? You will have to sell some of those beautiful dresses. Wow. Wow. I feel sorry for Meldor. I do. Hey, Meldor. And loyal citizens of the Empire. All right, that's one good thing done. Ooh, I should have. Well, let's let's try people in town. Though so this might be a traveler. Have you seen a young Dwemer with a red mohawk? Wearing bone mold armor and a Dwemer battle axe? You don't know anyone like that. Fair enough. I'll, um, I'll ask around. I guess inns would be a better place to ask around. The eight plates is right around the corner. And it's on the way to Millie's as well. It's a lovely dress lady. Lovely. Can't complain though. We do have something, maybe not lovely, but definitely fancy. It's pretty dark in here, isn't it? Whoa! <laughs> it is dark no more. Sorry, it's hard to get her attention. I, hello, hello. I am looking for a Dwemer. That could be Thandal and Velas at the council club over by the Silstrider. Right. Gamonatong. Again. You heard about the Danful the other night? No, I haven't. What happening? Somebody is saying they wanted to become a lich. Yeah, that sounds like a madman indeed. Thanks for the information oh, though. So, remember how I was reluctant to deal with the Kamenetong? Uh, it looks like we will have to deal with them anyway. Uh, might try to talk to them about the Altmer women. Maybe before we accuse them of murder. Yeah, <laughs> I think that, that's probably better. Okay, all right, my shop is right here. I'll drop whatever clothes I have. Even though it's probably just a shirt. Was it extravagant? Exquisite? What do we have? One exquisite shirt. We have some extravagant pants and extravagant shoes. That's all I've got clothing wise. For sale at the very least. We're not ready to open. I mean, look at that. We've got one pair of pants. One shirt, one pair of shoes, but just you wait. I have a good feeling about this. This is going to give us a steady income.
council club where the Kamanatong is rumored to hang. I just realized something. He's not wearing armor right now, but he could have taken it off. Because you are a Thandalin Velas, aren't you? You're a smith. Interesting. You you have interesting wares. You have low quality items. Well, I'm not really interested. We'll get back to him because he looks like our guy, doesn't he? Hello, Banor. You don't seem to like me too much. Would money change your mind? It really would. Interesting. Brothers Oren is a respectful businessman. All right. Okay. I, like I just asked you about him. And he's already tired of talking to me. Hello, mentor. You think mentor is murdering running a lot? You know what? I kind of um, doubt it. Who? Right. It doesn't sound like a reliable witness. Or maybe he's too afraid to speak to me. That could be it. But Kulumer is the name of the Aldmer. She says she doesn't want any more intimidation work. That's the way it is. Uh huh. You want her to do another job? Uh huh. I need to get Brewery the way out in cool to tell me. Or to tell you where he gets his moon sugar. Right. So I got a feeling that I might be helping her, but really I'm taking on the job. Right. I will talk to him probably if and when I go to pool. For now, I have no reason. Uh oh. No. Kaga went on, I don't know, a shopping spree. And so she's not here to back me up. I don't think I want to risk talking to those guys without any sort of backup. Kaga, where did you go? Did she stay and look for dresses maybe? Or... Maybe what she wants to do is mind the shop. No other choice but to backtrack. Gaga? No. I'm kind of relieved that she didn't stay there because her so secret dream is to be a shopkeeper. However, it sounds more like her to have stayed at Meldor's uh, and see what sort of armor he's got. Kaga? No. Oh, Kaga is full of surprises, isn't she? Millie's? If she's not at Millie's, I mean, they're still. The Hlalu building? I don't think she really likes them, and I doubt she'll just hang out. Hi, Ga. Is, is that because I'm making you wear a Duemo robe and you don't like it? I mean, honestly, it goes really well with... Um, with what you're wearing because of the, the colors and everything. If you do not like it, however, I can respect that. Hey, Millie. Yep, I got the money you were owed. Thank you for that. 
now let's see what you have. I have some extra 50 septim septims to spend here. So I was pretty curious about the spiderweb robe. But silken robe, that sounds pretty heavenly. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get these for Kaga. She's been wearing those old Wemo robes and maybe she fancies something a little more fashionable. What do you say, Kaga? Look. If you like it, wear it, put it on, and if you don't, well, don't. What do you think? Fancy. So fancy. You sure you want to wear your armor with all of that? I know, right? All right. <laughs> We are going to the council club and I am worried things might get a little rough. You guessed it, I'll be hiding behind you. Skip, 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 hey! First of all, you need to be in perfect health. Almost there. Almost, almost there. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Alright. Let's go. I'll talk to him with my speechcraft and all that maybe you know we can be we can be reasonable and all that if not you you're just going to have to you know do do your thing don't really have i've got this if things go south okay let's catch our breath For the first time, I'm really worried my speechcraft is not going to be enough. To myself, like yes, maybe you are crazy, but not murder crazy. Hello. Um, you know Ralin Hlaalu? No? It was a, I didn't say anything. Hang on, hang on. You look like the murderer. Nine toes. That makes no sense. Leave me. What do I do? Is that... Is that enough to report him? Da da da... Yeah, I'm not sure that's enough. What do you say, Kaga? Do you think we should go back and uh, report? Yes. Okay. And that's what I'm gonna do. Should talk to a guard. Let's try that. If we see a guard on the way. Yeah, please stay close. You are my source of light. I mean, even 
even with my lantern, it's not like... I can see very clearly. That was not a shortcut. I have nothing to say. Get out of my way. Hey, Nilano. Yeah, I inspected the crime scene. I got description of the murderer, but you don't seem to care for that. Darn, it looks like we're gonna need more than that. Have you found the murderer of Rylan Lalo? I have. You can't allow nobility of the clan to be struck down without consequence. Right. <sighs> you think we should go back and talk to the, the Dharma again? You suppose so? I suppose so as well. It doesn't make me happy though. Do we, do we threaten him? If you don't spill the bins, my friend will punch you in the face. I don't feel I'm very credible as a threat. Well, Shai, you'll be with me, Kaga, right? Da di da di da di da. Let me catch my breath. So I'm going to try to threaten him. And if that fails, then uh, taunt him until he attacks me and Kaga defends me. Solid plan. Oh, I cannot threaten. I cannot threaten? Then I'm taunting. It's working. It's working. It's working. It worked. Kaga, please help me. You will bring me great honor. I have you. All I can do. My crime. Whoa, Kaga, help me. All I have is my amulet. Help me. Surrender your life to me and I will end Something your pain. went horribly wrong. Fortunately, this is not a permadeath run anymore. Why why did they all go nuts though? Because they're all in the same faction? Because I, my crime was reported. I did not do anything. But it could be... It could be that... You know, damage was dealt differently because I didn't... Oh! It could be because I told Kaga to attack him before he had hit me. Which means I was the one who attacked first. Now this was just me planning the fight out. Uh, and now we're going to do the fight. How's that? I suspect I'm gonna need some of that. That makes you angry, yeah. Okay, that, that was so much better. Thanks, Kaga. Shop bite war pick. 
Um, I'm going to take it all. This might be something you'd like to use. Uh, just, uh, you know, tell me. This is so heavy. All these. I'm so sorry for overburdening you. Honestly, once we're done with that, let's go find ourselves a, a guar. I have to. This, this is not possible. Maybe, maybe the trader here is willing to sell his pack guar. I would certainly save a lot of time if I could buy a train guar. Hello, is your guar for sale? I'll take you a loaf, take a loaf of bread from you. Bye, guar. Okay, well, turn that quest in. We can't get a promotion just yet. We need to go all the way to Vivek and talk to Crassus Curio. Um, we'll have to find him first. And that might be troublesome. Hlavu Canton makes sense. But those cantons are pretty big. Hopefully killing him was the right move. Have you found the murderer of I have. He's also dead. I did. So she's pleased. She's pleased. All right. More business. Um, the ebony trade. What's up with the ebony trade? The East Empire Company threatened to buy ebony from House Redoran. That is not good. Um, mm -mm. So I need to convince Kangtunian Ponius. Honestly, I'll deal with him. We've met, we've talked, and when I bring back his money, he's going to be in a very difficult position to refuse conducting business with me and House Lalu. I am not keen to go and murder anyone. If you do both, there might be a bonus in it. I would, I would rather not murder if I can avoid it. What happens to a property when the owner dies? That's a good question. Uh, yes. I'll think about that. 4,500 drakes? That is a lot of money. But then again, property in Balmora, I think the value of the property never goes down. Um, because Balmora is very useful. I never knew there was a basement here. more like a jail than a, than a basement. Oh, excellent. There we go. One happy baby. One. Yeah. Either these are private bedrooms or... Or sales. I'm not sure. So what, what is our next move? Is either... Travel to Pelagiad and... Uh, run that errand for Sharn or go to Ebenhardt and talk to Kongtunian. I would rather not go to Ebenhardt before my shipment is there but that is something else to do. That's what we will have to do next time. Until then we're gonna get some rest, maybe spend the night at the inn and get ready for the next encounter. Bye!